My friends, I am Dr. Armen, uh, Professor Armen Astot Satrian from Yerevan, Armenia, and you are on a Dr. Y channel. So, Dr. Y, it's me. Uh -huh. So, my dear friends, today's questions, uh, we continue our, actually our conversations, our lectures about your B class exams, state exams, and today's question all about pleurisy. No, actually, it's pleuritis. But don't forget to take your pens, papers, pen, pencils, for make the notes. It's quite necessary huh? for your remembering. Extraordinary necessary. Huh? Okay, let's go. So, what is pleurisy actually? Huh? So, pleurisy or pleuritis, because pleurisy, also, know, also known as a pleuritis, is a condition which the pleura and the thin membrane that lines the surface of the lungs and the inside of the chest wall becomes inflamed becomes inflamed no inflammation that's why it's pleuritis so this inflammation can cause sharp chest pain that worsens with breathing or coughing so actually if you find a question like this was for example pleurisy and your answer you have to answer this question, of course. So, what is the pleurisy? You have to answer in this manner. So, what is the pleurisy? Pleurisy, also known as, also known as a pleuritis, is a condition which the pleura, the thin membrane that lines the surface of the lungs and the inside of the chest wall becomes inflamed. This inflammation can cause sharp chest pain that worsens with breathing or coughing. Pleurisy can be caused by a variety of factors, including viral or bacterial infection, autoimmune diseases such as lupus rheumatoid arthritis and traumatic injuries to the chest. In some cases, no specific cause can be identified. The symptoms of pleurisy can include sharp chest pain that worsens with breathing or coughing, shortness of breath, a dry cough, fever, and a repeat heart beat. Treatment for pleurisy usually involves treating the, uh, treating the underlying cause, sometimes antibiotics for bacterial infection, or anti-inflammatory medication for autoimmune diseases. So these several um, sentences largely sufficient. No, actually, we can uh, also say that pain relief medication may also be prescribed to manage the chest pain associated with pleurisy. In some cases, the fluid in the plural, plural space may need to be drained using a chest tube or a needle aspiration. So this is the pleurisy or pleuritis. Huh? Uh, pleurisy. The theology, no, I see the questions, I see questions. Huh? Etiology, pathogenesis, classification, functional, diagno radio radiological diagnostics, no, diagnosis. Etiology and pathogenesis. No, uh, normally, of course, the answer that I mentioned above, quite, quite enough, but who knows? So actually, so etiology and pathogenesis, pleurisy or pleuritis can be caused, as we said, of, uh, by a variety of factors, including viral, bacterial infection, Infections, autoimmune diseases such as uh, lupus rheumatoid arthritis, traumatic injuries to the chest. In some cases, no specific uh, cause can be identified. The inflammation of the pleura leads to the production of excessive fluid and the fibrosis and fibrinose, <coughs> fibrinose ex ex exudate, which can cause pain and impair breathing. No, I understand that I'm repeating, but actually this is a question uh, of exam. So, classification. So, classification can be classified dry or wet, depending on the presence or absence of fluid, obviously. No, fluid where? In the plural space where? where? So, dry pleurisy is also known as a fibrinose pleurisy and is characterized by the presence of fibrinose exudate that can cause the plural layers to stick together, resulting uh, in sharp chest pain with breathing. With breathing. With pleurisy is also no where I saw sorry, wet, 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 wet pleurisy. Uh, is also known as a plural effusion and is characterized by 
the accumulation of excess fluid in the pleural space, which can cause shortness of breath, shortness of breath, and sometimes chest pain. Functional and radiological diagnostics. So the diagnostic of pleurisy is based on a combination of a clinical, radiological, and laboratory findings. Physical exam may reveal the characteristic chest pain and shortness of breath associated with pleurisy. Blood test can uh, help identify and uh, and uh, identify any underlying infections or autoimmune diseases that may causing the pleurisy. So I can understand the otology of pleurisy. Chest X-ray or computer tomography scan can reveal the presence of fluid in the pleural space and any underlying lung conditions that may be contributing to the pleurisy. But actually, so if you are have a good ultrasound specialist, echocardiography, sonographist, we can find easily the fluid in the pleura. No treatment. Treatment. The treatment for pleurisy depends on underlying cause. Antibiotics may be prescribed for bacterial infection. No bacterial infections. It depends, of course. Uh, and uh, anti-inflammatory medications, such as corticosteroid and nosteroid anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAID. NSAID. Huh? NSAID. Huh? Anti-inflammatory drugs. Non-steroid drugs may be used to reduce inflammation and pain. Asteroid and non-steroid. In some cases, the fluid in the pleural space may be need uh, to be drained, used by a special chest tube or needle aspiration. I do it several times. Pain relief medication may also be prescribed to manage the chest pain associated with pleurisy. Uh, dry and exudative, exudative pleurisy, exudative. Ah, oh, man. Oh, question is the dry and exudative. No, means wet pleurisy. Huh? Dry and exudative pleurisy clinic. Hi, my friends. Once again, if you find the questions like this, a clinic means signs and symptoms. Okay, so dry and exudative means dry and wet pleurisy. Uh, clinics. So signs and symptoms. Features of the course. Features of the course. Okay, complications, diagnostic, differential diagnosis, treatment, prevention. So dry pleurisy, uh, dry pleurisy also known as a fibrinose pleurisy. It's a form uh, of pleurisy characterized by the presence of a fibrinose exudate that can cause the pleural layers to stick together, resulting in sharp chest pain with breathing. The signs and symptoms of dry pleurisy include sudden onset of sharp chest pain that worsens with breathing or coughing, shortness of breath, and dry cough. But pain goes with breathing. So for patients, it's difficult to inspire. Uh, the course of dry pleurisy is usually self-limited and resolves within a few days to week. Uh, quite often. But however, in some cases, the fibrinosis, fibrinose exudate can become organized, organized and lead to the, from fibr uh, to the formation of so-called fibrose adhesion between the pleural layers, which can result in chronic pain and, of course, it impairs lung uh, function. Exud exudative pleurisy, no wet pleurisy. Huh? Exudative pleurisy, as known as pleural effusion, is uh, characterized by the accumulation of excess fluid in the pleural space, which can cause shortness of breath and chest pain. The signs and symptoms uh, of exudative pleurisy include difficulty breathing, a rapid heartbeat, and chest pain. The course of, of exudative pleurisy the core, is variable. The question is this core features of the course. So the course of uh, exudative pleurisy is variable depending on uh, depend on what underlying disease underlying cause. If left untreated, pleural effusions can lead to complications such as pleural thickening, MPM, and respiratory failure. 
diagnosis. The diagnosis uh, is of pleurisy is based on a combination of clinical, uh, of course, imaging techniques, radiological and laboratory findings. A physical exam may reveal the characteristic chest pain and shortness of breath associated with pleurisy. Blood test can help identify an underlying infection, any under no blood test any underlying infections or autoimmune disease that may cause the pleurisy. Uh, chest, uh, chest X-ray or computer tomography scan, no, imaging techniques, uh, can reveal the presence of fluid in the pleural space and any underlying lung conditions that may contributing to the pleurisy. In some cases, a pleural fluid analysis may be necessary to determine the underlying cause of the, pleur uh, of the pleurisy. It's a very good uh, idea to check up, uh, analyze the uh, pleural fluid. Uh, concerning differential diagnosis. Uh, the differential diagnosis for pleurisy includes other causes of chest pain. Uh, well, I don't know. For example, myocardial infarction. Uh, why not to make a differential diagnosis with my, uh, myocardial infarction? Pulmonary embolism. Pneumothorax and GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Management, that's treatment, ta, treatment, no, treatment management. The treatment for pleurisy depends on the underlying cause. Antibiotics may be prescribed for bacterial infections and any anti inflammatory medications such as corticosteroids or non steroid drugs, anti inflammatory drugs, and NSAIDs may be used to reduce inflammation and pain. In some cases, the fluid in the pleural space may uh, need to drain using a chest uh, tube or a, a special need, needle aspiration. Pain relief medication may also be prescribed to manage the chest pain associated with pleurisy. Ah, prevention. No? Prevention. Prevention. Prevention of pleurisy involves managing the underlying conditions that can cause uh, conditions such as avoiding exposure to asbestos and other environment toxins, treating infections promptly and managing autoimmune disease. Uh, there is an idea that vaccinations can also help prevent infections that can lead to pleurisy. So finally, complications. No complications of pleurisy can occur in the conditions is left untreated. Underlying cause, or if it, or if it's not uh, properly managed. Some of the possible complications of pleurisy include pleural effusion, in exudative pleurisy, wet pleurisy, the accumulation of excess fluid in the pleural space can lead to pleural effusion. If left untreated, it, this can lead to respiratory failure. Yeah. MPMA, uh, MPMA is a rare complication, uh, actually concerning pleural effusion, can be due to oncological problem, due to uh, cardiological heart failure problem, so be careful. Huh? MPMA, MPMA is a rare, rare compli uh, complication of the pleurisy that occurs when the fluid in the pleural space becomes infected. This can lead to the formation of pus and can require drainage antibiotic treatment, very dangerous complication. Pleural thickening, chronic thickening, chronic inflammation of the pleura can lead to the formation of scar tissue and pleural thickening, which can cause chronic pain and impaired lung function. Uh, pulmonary fibrosis, in some cases, chronic uh, pleurisy can lead to pulmonary fibrosis, a condition in which the lung tissue becomes sickened, sickened and stiff, making it too difficult to breathe. No, but at the beginning, it's not a pleurisy. I mean, pulmonary embolism is due to another. Uh, why, but why not? Why, why not? It can be pulmonary fibrosis. Actually, what's next? Uh, you know, of course, pneumonia. In the, if the underlying cause of pleurisy is a bacterial infection, pneumonia can occur if, if the infection spreads to the lungs. So it's not a complication of pleurisy, it's a complication of pneumonia. Right, the respiration failure. In severe cases, pleurisy can lead to respiratory failure which can be life-threatening, um, life of course. So, uh, actually, concerning pleurisy, 
the yes is largely enough. Thanks for your attention, my dear friends. See you in another lectures. So subscribe our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. Follow the channel. God bless you. See you in another lectures. Bye-bye.